<laughs> well, with his multicolored portraits of celebrities like Marilyn Monroe and John Lennon, pop art pioneer Andy Warhol inspired generations of future artists. That includes one local artist who has put a San Antonio spin on pop art, as JT Street discovers on Street's Corner. I've never even seen that before until just now. It's really cool. As trains pass on Southtown's Roosevelt Street Bridge, Jacob Johnson compliments Jorge Villarreal on his latest art piece, a four foot by six foot mural he calls pop art. I wanted that power, that impact. I wanted something that screams pop, I guess. That is awesome. <laughs> it's a bit punny, I think. I like to see people kind of laugh. While the initial reactions may be laughs and honks, Jorge says his true motivation is to honor Coach Greg Popovich as the face of the Spurs franchise. He's a huge San Antonio icon. I admire him a lot. I'm a huge fan of him. I'm surprised why there's no more murals of Popovich. Another surprise, the pop mural he first put up before the 2014 finals is still standing today. It's surprising with the, what a little flour, sugar and water can can last. It sustained the, the heat all through the summer and I guess Greg Popovich can do that pretty well, huh? It just tells the whole story, man. The whole story about the Spurs playing through the playoffs, getting ready for this year. And as Coach Pop and the Spurs prepare for another championship run, Jorge says he'd love to take his pop art project to a bigger canvas. I guess AT&T Center. I would just like to do big banners of, of pop pieces of them. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun? Jorge says the pop mural will stay up as long as the weather allows, adding that it wouldn't be surprising to see more murals pop up next season. If you'd like to make some art on Streets Corner, you can follow me on Twitter at Streets Corner or at Facebook.com slash Streets Corner. JT Street, Fox News at 9.